Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This is a short video to show you how to transfer ownership of a workspace to another person. So let's have a look. So I'm in my little environment here and I've got various workspaces down the side. And what I want to do now is hand over this so that someone else is the owner of it. Again, this could be for many reasons. You could be handing over the project to someone else and this could be a project and you want them to own it going forwards. What are reasons um, for that? So I look and I see who's currently shared to it and it's shared by, well, I'm the owner, um, Demi Productive, and Rich Coles is an admin. I actually want to share it or give the ownership of this to Alejandra. So what I'm going to do is I'm firstly going to go in and um, add in Alejandra to this one and I'm going to make her an admin. So I'm going to share the workspace. I'm not going to notify her because we've already talked about this. I'll share the workspace here. So. Now she's shared to it, very easily, the way I hand over the ownership of this is I go back onto share, I find her, I click on her role, and from admin, I can just click make owner. And this is the important bit here, give works, um, workspace ownership. And if you wanna hand over all your items inside, just make sure you click that. And again, and it can be a great way to, if you need to, get rid of items which are in your workspace. Again, sometimes I ask someone to make me the owner and then I can make them the owner back and that way then I transfer all the ownership of all the items in there. So all I need to do now is send a transfer request. That request has been sent, as you can see, and now I just need to wait for her to take ownership of it. So let's go across to now an Alejandra's profile down here. and. In this bit, what I'm going to do is let's just look at the, the workspaces, etc. And you can see that here we go. Let me just refresh her workspaces and type two has just been added. So what you'll see is she's currently in it as an admin, but she's got notification here. So let's look at notifications and Demo Productive wants you to own this workspace. So she receives this both in Smartsheet and also as an email. So having received that, you can look at the transfer request and either say yes or no in terms of taking ownership. She clicks yes, then that is processed. So it's clicking that. So that actually went through first time around when I clicked it. So I'm going to close the screen up and what you'll do, you can see this message here. You're now the proud owner of this workspace. So if I refresh, you can see that suddenly has it demos the owner and now it's changed to Alejandra as the owner. If I now go back here, I can see this one. I'm still the owner, refresh it. And then it's handed over to Alejandra. And actually, this is kind of one of the reasons why sometimes I, I do this, because I no longer want to have this workspace in my particular area because it's not relevant to me now. So now I can go in it, and because I've handed over all my items within it, I can actually say, great, now I don't need to be part of this anymore. So if you remove yourself from sharing, you'll no longer have access to this workspace. If you still own items within that workspace and you haven't transferred them all across, you can't, hand, you can't remove yourself from this. So that's just one bit to flag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, yep, thank you, I don't want to be in anymore. You'll see that's disappeared. And if I refresh the PMO type two, it says I don't have access to this workspace. So really handy way to pass over workspaces to someone else and to make sure you just click the right button at the right time so that then they have access to the right items and you no longer have to have ownership of that. So trust that's been useful. Thanks for watching. More tips and videos to come. Rich Gold at Productive Project Solutions. Bye for now.